Oh, y'all look good. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, I got him. I got him. Yeah. All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, when we get started, we give all honor and glory and power to Yahweh by Shil, Yahweh by Shil, and Kapi Dash. We we'll say double honor to our elders, our great apostles, the great millstone, who rule well and teach well, be a great example to Israel. Man, the elect, we we'll gonna say peace and blessings to the hope the elect on the four corner, pushing the truth and sincerely. They great song. We the GMS Memphis Count. We come once again, edit again through the spirit of power we have by Shemar Shah, the prophets had a downfall of a miracle. But guess what? Also the ushering the king by Lord and Savior, who the word even the call of Jesus Christ. I write his name in the Hebrew, is what Yahweh Shah, meaning he is the liberal, he is the savior. Okay, he is the savior and our redeemer. Alright? So we're gonna get into it, I'm y'all gonna be edified. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 22. For the Lord, you have our shoe, have a shot, is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord, you have our shoe, have a shot, is our king. He will save us. He will save us, man. You've been here for the top. This is Isaiah 33, verse 22. For the Lord, you have our shoe, have a shot, is our judge. He is our judge. The Lord, you have Hashim Hashad, is our lawgiver. He is our lawgiver, man. We have laws, man. You see? That way, at the end of it, say he would save us, man. Who is the laws given to, man? The nation of Israel. That's who, we, uh, that's who he called back to save, man. The star, star with the elect of the nation of Israel, man. The ones that had repentance and came back unto him, man. You see? He would save us, man. Hey, ah, uh, and we can get it because it said that the Lord. We read the, the top there, so we gotta break it down. There's, there's three things that the Lord, you got Yahweh, right? Yep. Because he said he judge, right? Yep. What he gonna judge us by? The he law. gonna judge us by the law. So I got a precept, I just wanna read it, and we'll just get it through like that. Go ahead, now. This is Isaiah 33 and verse 22. For the Lord, Yahweh, Shimon, Shah, is our judge. The Lord, Yahweh, Shimon, Shah, is our what? judge. Yahweh, Shimon, Shah, is our judge. Yahweh, Shimon, Shah, is our judge. The Lord, Yahweh, Shimon, Shah, is our judge. what? Is our judge. All right, get James 2 and 12. James 2 and 12. Right, let's like it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. James 2 and 12. So speak ye and so do. If they then shall be judged by the law of liberty. See? So we're gonna be judged by the law. See that? Because going back to what we heard some questions that. Because if, if you're not keeping the law, guess what? That's why I say whether it's good or whether it's evil. Everybody gonna get that judgment. You see that? We, we can't be in the truth. And still eat pork. Why? Because that's against the law. You can't be in the truth and still commit adultery. Why? Because that's against the law. You see that? So we're going to be judged by what? The law. Mm -hmm. That's why I say what you just read. Read that again, the first part. It's Isaiah 33 and 22. For the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our judge. Where it say uh, Joel 9 24? All right? The, uh, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right? He covered the faces of the judge thereof. If not, why? Who is he? See, who is the ultimate judge? You have about you know what's up? And he gonna judge us according to the law because the law is what stand. You know? I think you gotta um, go to the word doom or condemn. It goes back to judge, man. See? Go ahead, get this. This is John 5 and 22. For the Father judges no man. John 5 and 22. For the Father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Oh, and committed all judgment unto the Son, man. All powers given unto the Holy Spirit shot, unto his only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. So all judgment now be passed down to the Holy Spirit, man. For the ones that say that the worst of the Holy Spirit, you are going to be judged by him. Good. Yeah. Acts 17 and uh, I want to say 30, 31, man. This is Acts chapter 17. Like, God, this is this is Acts 17 and verse 30. 
and the times of this ignorance, the most I weak that. But now condemning all men. That's the like it. Commanded. This is and this is Acts 17 and 30. At the times of this ignorance, the most how weak it, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Right, repent, man. Turn back uh, to Yahweh's so Messiah, man. You know what it said? Depart from me, but do good, man. Walk in the law, statutes, and commandments. Walk in the spirit of Yahweh's out, man. You know? He, com he commanded every man to repent, man. Repent for wickedness, man. For your transgressions. You see? Right. Which is what? Sin, sin, sin transgressions of the law. Right. Go ahead. Verse 31, because he has appointed a day in which he would judge the world in righteousness. In righteousness. He would judge the world in righteousness. Go ahead. According to where? The law. The law man. His law, man. That fucking Esau law. Esau law is bullshit, man. You see? Go ahead. Right. By that man whom he has ordained, wherefore he has given assurance unto all men mm. and that he have raised him from the dead. Right, raised himself from the dead, man. Ooh, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. By that man, Yahweh Shai is going to judge. We can get second with this fire. And uh, started, uh, started team of the shot. You see, the all judgment now we pass down to the only guy's son, man. You see? Oh, oh I'm trying to get the right shirt. Back in Acts chapter 17 and verse 30, at the times of this ignorance, the most I winked at, 
but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Right, everywhere in Israel that's got to, man. Repent. So this world went out. We did, man. Prophecy is speaking, man. Good. Because he hath appointed a day in which he will judge the world. And that day coming is past me, man. But said, behold, I come quickly. Mm. <laughs> you see? Yep. And when they uh, uh, have a the vision yet in the appointed time, but the end is just speaking not lie. See? Mm -hmm. well, that's what it's talking about. That's that day. We say, uh, he coming to thief in the night. Yeah. We don't know when that day or hour coming. But well, you want to stay ready. So you want to be there. You want to say stay you ready. You want to get ready. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. This is verse 31. Because he have appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. In righteousness. By what? The laws. His laws are righteous. His laws are holy. By that man whom he have ordained. By that man whom he have ordained. Wherefore he have given assurance unto all men and that he have raised him from the dead. Yeah, how was that? All right, this is 2 Corinthians. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. Wait, our judgment has been passed down to the um, to all of God's sons. So we all must appear at the judgment seat of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, man. Whether it be good or bad, go ahead. That everyone may receive the things done in his body yep. according to that he hath done. Would it be good or bad? <laughs> good, right? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Right, we persuade men. Let's say Isaiah 51, cry aloud, fear not. Show my people their transgressions in the house of uh, Jacob or oh, Israel, they say. It's worth the fair place, man. We're supposed to fear not. He said, compare them that my house may be uh, filled, man. Through the temple of the Lord, that if you don't repent, the Lord gonna kill your ass, man. He's gonna stop them, man. You see? <laughs> Esau gonna have your way with you, man. Yep. When he come down uh, showing his horns. Right. Great wrath, man. Right. So you gotta repent if you wanna be saved. You know? You need us that already saved, man. If you Christians that say you already saved, let's see when you survive, survive this famine, survive the second death, man. Right. You already saved. Right. You use your blessing, hall of favor. We're gonna see. Yeah, but you say you saved. I mean, you basically saved yourself. The Lord said He came not to save the righteous, but the sinners are to repent. You know? Yeah, well, hey, go back to Isaiah. Are you have some? No, nah, we're gonna go back to this word, world yeah. real quick. Okay, come. Because they got a sense of the world. We're gonna tell you the whole world because Christianity yeah, the whole world. This is what it's talking about right here. Well, what do we go to the uh, definition of food out? Go ahead, out. This is back in Acts 17 and verse 31. Because he have appointed a date in which he will judge the world. Judge the what? World. Now, when you go into that word, world, it means all community. All right? So when you go into the word all community, it said the portion of the earth inhabited by the Greeks in distinction from the land of the barbarians, right? The Roman Empire. All the subjects of the empire, meaning what? Everybody's on the rule. Is it not Rome all over? You see that? Because every 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 uh city and state and country is on the rule of what? America. The golden cup. The golden because that Babylon had been the golden cup and what? The Lord's hand. So every country is on the subject of whom? The so-called white man. You see that? Is that the whole entire? the whole inhabited earth, the world. So the Lord is coming in their day to what? Bring judgment upon the whole earth, man. Come on, man. Everyone that's subject to who? The so-called white man. You gotta know how. Yeah, just put it back here up on that. The, the Lord comes back to do two things. <laughs> Deliverance and destruction, man. Right. You know, and so with that, go back to Isaiah 13. Uh, this is Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil. Well, I will punish the world for their evil. Uh, and the wicked for their iniquity. <laughs> and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. <laughs> and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Mm. 
grateful, man. That's it, bro. Cause all the pride gonna cease, man. All these people thinking that they got it, don't need the Lord, they can do this and that, because they taking the mind frame and they envy the oppressor and choosing his ways. Guess what? The Lord gonna the Lord gonna humble you, man. The Lord gonna humble you fucking uh, crackers, you fucking Edomites. The Lord gonna uh, humble you two thirds. The, hum the Lord gonna humble you witness, man. Man, the Lord gonna fight. Look, the Lord coming, man. That's why I say in that day, see, they think that it's okay right now because they got they, they financial straight. The time is coming, bro. Only the servants gonna be financial straight. Why? Because this going to a prosperity, man. Yep. Just wait, the Lord gonna humble you, man. Hey, uh, I was just meditating on, hey, this uh, pandemic, you Jake wanna call it, mm -hmm. this shit coming to an end, man. Yeah. Ain't no money uh, flowing in America like that. The dollar about to crash, yeah. man. Exactly. The pandemic's coming to an end, man. You niggas making money. Over with. It's about to be done away with, man. Everything gonna cash in uh, digital, man. Yep. Yeah. True. Ain't no more, ain't no more having a lot of money to your ears and you can, you can hold it. You gonna need that to wipe your ass with, man. Yeah, I think that new money gonna be on what? On that chip, which exactly. is like MOTV, man. Yeah. You know? You wanna keep your millions of dollars. You know, hey, they already doing it uh, the diva. Uh -huh. You wanna stay in the NBA and you wanna stay playing. Yeah, any type of sports that uh, <laughs> type of society, you gotta take that what? The juice. Yeah. Right. See? This is what it's coming to, but guess what? It's the, it's the, it's just how you know the Lord said he gave them the eyes they can't see the earth they can't hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you can see it, but they don't see it. Yep. That's the power you have by Shemar Shah. But then, when it happens, you're going to open everybody's eyes up, but it's going to be too late. The souls they have not yet. They just buy a little second. You got to watch. This is James chapter 4 and verse 12. There is one lawgiver yep. who is able to save. Wait, there is one lawgiver who is able to save. Ooh, we opened up with Isaiah 33 and 22. Uh -huh. No, we didn't go back with that. But we need to get from top of the hill. Uh -huh. This is James chapter 4 and verse 12. There is one lawgiver who is able to save. And to destroy, right. able to save and destroy. And that's exactly what the Lord gonna be doing when He comes back. Saving, saving, and, and destroying. Man. This is back in Isaiah chapter 33 and 22. I mean, yeah, 22. For the Lord, you have by Shimon, how is our judge. He is our judge. Yeah. The Lord is our lawgiver. He's our lawgiver, man. He, who he can't get the law to? Israel. Yeah. Let's I got that. Let's get Psalm 785. You want to get that right. Psalm 119? All right, this is Psalm 78 and 5. For he established the testimony in Jacob. Yep. And appointed a law in Israel. Appointed a law in Israel, man. Go ahead. <laughs> which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Right. Generation to generation, man. And to us, so the law was given, was given to us, Israel, man. Up to Jacob, man. You see, you got the sons of the Lord. It's the songs. I can grab a word for that. Uh, you want to see? I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. 
This is Psalms 147 and 18. He sent out his word and melted them. He caused his winds to blow and the waters flew. I mean, it's like in the waters flow. He showed his words unto Jacob, his statues and his judgment unto Israel. That's what he wanted to show his laws, laws that's commanded in his world. Right, that's what Yashmati Frank got. It's so, it's so brutal, God. And it says, He had not dealt so with any nation. Right, not these heathens, man. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Wait, the other nation don't know the law of this commandment of the Most High. What does it say? Um, the, uh, the Most High is not a nice house. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You yeah. see? That's right. Esau, he cast his will behind him, man. You know, Esau pretended like he killed about the, uh, killed about the laws of the Yahweh's first shot, but he changed it, man. He gave rights to Decepticons, man. So he don't care about the laws of commandments of Yahweh's first shot. He never did. Everything he do is contrary to the scripture. Put on, put on that front. The Lord say yes, he say no. Well, uh, I, I'm gonna change it. It's okay, but I'm gonna change it. Right. The Lord say up, he say down. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because he got a God complex. We have power. Because that's what God means, power. Yep. So he got a God like complex, man. Yep, yeah, because we, we see that now with the, the religious uh, exemption for him. He ain't right. taking it, man. But this part of the hell with that. Yeah, this part of the God for a nation, though, man. Come on now. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, bring that Isaiah out real quick, out. Isaiah? Yeah, we got the Isaiah. Okay, cool. They say he's not there, so he's not a nation. They told who? He took out Africans. He took out Abraham. You know what I'm saying? He took out white people, so called Chinese, Japanese. You keep on going. The Lord had not dealt so with y'all, man. The only reason why y'all doing the things y'all doing now is because of our disobedience. We have not transgressed against the law of the statutes of man. Guess what? We'll still be on top. I'm gonna have fun with her. Yeah, we go ahead now. This is back in Isaiah uh, <coughs> chapter 13, 22. For the Lord is our judge. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Hashem is our lawgiver. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Hashem is our king. He will save us. Mm. He will save us. Man. That's our redeemer. He will save us from, from my name. When you go back into uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 6 to 8, it said, What? No man shall buy you. They're by going to save and redeem. Okay, can't nobody save us and redeem us out of this hell but who? Yahweh Shah, man. He is the Savior. That's what his name means. He is our King. He is our deliverer. We have, <clears throat> like, we, we, we have a King, man. You know, you need to put your trust in his control. No, he was never. Shalom, Mark. You know? Hey, we're quick to bring that up. Psalms 5 and 20. No, we got it. Oh, yeah. You mean Judah 5 and 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Judah 5 and 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. Right, because sin is not good tonight. You know, that's what makes us not close to Yahweh's most shot, You know, for, uh, for disobeying his own word, man. Look at us. We don't need to curse us, man. So, hey, we, we, hey, we, we fall man. Yeah, man. Look at us. We don't need to curse us, man. You know, we need to be careful, man. We need to be careful, man. You know, we need to be careful, man. You know, we need to be careful, man. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. Right. We shall overcome them. This is what Esau has done now, man. Been overcame, man. You know why? Because we, we didn't keep his laws, his commandments, to the best of our ability, man. We, we departed from it, man. So that was our own, you know? That's why he dealt over us to the hand of our enemies, man. Go ahead. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, least that Lord defend them, and their power be for them. And we become a reproach before all the world. Exactly. There be no iniquity with us, man. 
you see? If we, if we don't go off, that's why in the kingdom of heaven, we ain't gonna go, uh, go off, man. The Lord will defend us, man. But say he will be an adversary or to call your adversary, man. That when the last that's commandments gonna be in us, man. And that's only for the children of Israel, man. Not to everybody, man. The Lord ain't come back to save everybody, man. He come back to save his people. Let's bring that. Psalms 130. Get back to one more. Come. This is Psalms 130. And uh, I started it says, This is us. This is Psalms 130, 7 through 8. Let Israel hope in the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. Right. It's mercy if you repent, man. You see, like I said, it's right the seventh chapter, man. The Lord just wants you to repent. You see? We said we play the harlot, but yet to turn on to me again. Say the Lord, Jeremiah, uh, the third chapter. You know, the Lord just wants you to repent, man, and forsake your own wickedness, man. That's all he wants you to do. God, people are making the scene hard, man. No, the Lord wants you to repent, man. But he, he was saying he looking for those of a contrite spirit, man, broken hearted, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and once you repent, you up in the list. You start keeping the last session commandments to the best of your ability, man. You try, man. You see? Right. Verse 8, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Right, from all their iniquities, man. Romans 11, 26. This is Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shall call his name Yahweh Shai. Yeah, Yahweh Shai, meanwhile, he is the deliverer, he is the salvation. He is the one that's going to save, he is our king. He will save us, go ahead. For he shall save his people from their sins. And right, he's going to save us from our sins, man. You no, know, from the uh, destruction we're coming into, man. You see? He should save his people. It is saying about it. So who is the people is filled? Jump over to Matthew 2 and 6. Very quick. No, 2 and 6. This is Matthew 2 and 6. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah, I mean, Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. The princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor. The governor who? Yahweh That shall rule my people Israel. He shall rule my people Israel. His people who? The Israelites. The so called blessed Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans. And also to the Israelite owners that they scattered amongst the country that look like the other nation. But whose spirit goes back to Israelite. You see? He's gonna save them. He's gonna save us. You see, from our sins, man. You know? It's all right. Get that? This is Romans chapter 11, and, uh, verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Zion. Right, slide the to give us up. Come, this is Romans 11 and 26. And so, all Israel. All Israel, man. At two thirds, they're going to be born on the ground in hell forever. You niggas want to call it, man. No, all Israel are going to be saved. Right? Ain't no place on the ground you born forever, man. That's, that's made up, man. You know? That's made up, man. Greek mythology. <laughs> and so, all Israel shall be saved as it is written. That shall come out of Zion, the deliverer. Who? Which is who? Yahweh Shai, our king. Go ahead. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Right from Jacob. How are you going to do that? By putting his word in us. This law of Testament commandments in us. That's the new covenant. Yep. The same law you say that's done away with is going to be in us, man, in the kingdom of heaven. Yep. Make it make sense. Because yep. verse 27 it says, For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away. Their sins. Right, he should take away our sins when we're going to be immortal. Mm -hmm. You see? Immortality. Alright, this is Lamentation 4 and 17. You know what? Let's let's over there. Okay, okay, okay. No, we can bring it out. We can bring it out. We're going to bring it out. That's good. Alright. This is Lamentation 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Right, our enemy, man. A nation that could not save us, man. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> you see? You know, when the nigga got, out, got in the office, you nigga was crying. <laughs> you see? When Obama got in the office, you nigga was crying. Bro, they not disabled. We brought out Isaiah 33 and 22. 
he was saved up there. James 4 and 12, he was one that able to restore his Savior. But the other nations, they can't save you, man. No man can save you. But it's a custom he that make it all all sins all flesh. You see? Our Savior is, is, is Yahweh Shad, man. That's it. Go ahead. This is Hebrews chapter uh, 8. Uh, start, I started at 10 to the point. Boy, this is the. Just bag up some. Six. Okay, come on. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 6. But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry. Cool like how cool much like also he is the God mediator God. of a better covenant yeah, 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 yeah. which was yeah, established yeah. upon better promises. Better promises. Yeah, get over Okay, uh, they like they like perfect. They perfect on their life. For if the when first you go over there, I'm gonna see them. Then no place yeah, have to talk loud. Though. For the second, meaning what? The there we go. Yeah, we could bunch up. We went mm -hmm. out. I'm gonna we see. I'm gonna see right now. Us man, we didn't keep the laws perfect, man. That's why this time the laws gotta be in us, man. You see? This is uh, Hebrews 8 and 7. Right. For if that first covenant have been faulted, then should no place have been sought for the second. Yep. For finding fault with them. Wait, finding fault with them. The law is perfect. It's good. The law, keeping the law is can lead you uh, up to salvation. Come on. Very quickly, let's go to 13 and uh, 14. Yeah. You see? Yeah, the song 119. This is Proverbs 13 and 14. The law of the wise is a fountain of life. It's a fountain of life, man. Go ahead. And what is a fountain? All right. A fountain is something that holds water. It's a constant running thing. See, it's a running machine. You got a fountain at work. It's a what? A water fountain. It's something that holds something. You see that? So what is the law of the what? Fountain of life. A fountain of life. That's something they hold life. The law. Because without the law, what, what, what do you have? Death. See that? So this book hold what? Life, man. This is the fountain. Go ahead. Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. What word? The Lord's word, man. But he. Gonna be destroyed. That's why a lot of our people are going to be destroyed by them on Luther Muslim. Why? Because they despise it. They cast it off like it ain't nothing. You see that? The time going to come, man. You got to go. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Uh, rewarded with what? Life. Immortality. And that's what we fight for. To be immortal, you see that? To have everlasting life, you know what I'm talking about? Because some of us ain't gonna taste them. That's what we fighting for. We have, but we don't have to be born, reborn in Hebrew hugging. That's what we're trying to fight for, man. But in order to do that, guess what we have to do? We have to rehearse the righteous acts, man. That's all. You see that? You gotta put. The spirit before the flesh, man. Let's go on all about what sacrifice. The flesh, man, made for the weak. Weak in the hole. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the spirit in you to, you know, to fight that flesh off. But what we read last night, it said that the, 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 uh, the law is what? Spiritual. The law is spiritual, man. So we know that flesh is going to try to overrule everything. So the law is Verse 14. The law of the wise is a fountain of life yeah. to depart from the snares of death. To who? Depart from the snares of death. So by keeping the law, the statutes commandment you have by Shema Shah, 
you got a better chance of being delivered. Because you depart from the snares of death. What is a snare? A fucking trap, trap. man. Trap. And it's plenty of snares and trap the so-called white man has set upon us. And we can follow the end of time. But as long as we continue to keep the laws and endure and do what the Lord has told us to do to the best of our ability, we got our own. Come on, man. This is Romans. But this is uh second second Ezra seven and uh and uh twenty. It says, But there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the most high. straight commandment to such as came what they should do to live even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Hey, to avoid punishment, man. By being obedient, man. Yeah, that's good. Hold Amos 21, man. Just like your parents, right? <laughs> hey, your parents give you commandments, man. Clean the house up. Yep. Make sure the house clean when you get home from school or whatever, man. You see? What happens if you don't? Ask them. Yeah, the punishment got to come, man. Because when you don't do what, what, what I tell you to do, the Lord already set out the water, man, on what, what to do. I done laid the law. He done laid the law down, man. You know what to do and what not to do. Yeah. When you don't do it, what happened? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I need the house clean before I get home. This is why. Woo-woo-woo. See how they lay down? Come she get home, it ain't done. Get what happened? That's your ass, man. That's your ass. This same thing. I ain't have about some outside person, man. Same thing, but even worse. This is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 9. It reads, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. All right, man, now you get up, 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 up in age, you know, older in life. You know, I'm glad my mama would ask this. Which corrected us and we gave them reverence, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of Spirit well, and, live? and live? Father of Spirit. <laughs> you see, mm -hmm. I would say uh, all Ezekiel 18 4, because I'm going to let the scripture do the talking, man. Yeah. What, uh, what do subjection mean? Under rule. That. So we gotta be on the rule of what the spirit. We go back back to what the law of spirit. Yeah. You gotta be on the rule of the law, man. Yeah. Okay. What it says, be a, a subjection under the spirit live, right? The law of the spirit to live, right? So we can't look Ezekiel 18 and 4. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the sons is mine. Yeah. The soul that sent it, it shall die. Wait, the soul that sent it, it shall die. Because that's the penalty of committing sin. Be uh, disobedient, man. The wages mm -hmm. of sin is still. <laughs> so read that on that part. Read that on that. Son, this is, this is uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of, the, of our flesh which corrected us, uh -huh. and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of Spirit and live? Right, listen, you rather to obey the most side than man. You see? Go ahead. Verse 10. For they barely for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure. Right, after their own pleasure. You know, after their own pleasure. Clean the hell with the rules. Stuff like that. You know, take out the rules. You see? <laughs> <laughs> after their own pleasure. You know, walk with God. That type of stuff, man. Go ahead. But he, for our profit, <laughs> but he for our profit, go ahead, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Right, so we can be joint ends with him. It said those that suffer with him should reign with him, man. So we got to deny ourselves. We deny him, we deny us, man. So you, hey, so 
That's one thing about it. The Lord, hey, if you're gonna be blessed, bro, the Lord gonna show, man, we're gonna show y'all how to lead them, man. What to do. You know? How you supposed to live the life? Yeah. 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 Jake do it. I'm gonna teach you how to stunt. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
See? That's all proof by Allah. That's that judgment shall return to the righteous. Go back to the beginning. What judges mean? Remember God, yeah. the ruler, the judge, the power. So they're going to return it back to who? The elect. Because those are the ones that help build the earth. You know what I'm So the judge is going to return it to us because that's what we're practicing right now to be what? Judges on the earth. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Come on, he's going to return it back to us. And guess what? We are not right from place. Lord yeah. willing, we are part of that number, man. So, uh, Say you are God, and you should die like, like me. Man. See? Yeah, we are God because we are natural born judges. Right. And guess what? It's gonna return to us, and it's being returned to us through what? Through the spirit. Man, Jake know that he's judging people, man. Just by what Jake be wearing. You already know Jake be on that shit. Come on, only God be judging. No. You're right, Aka. Females be judging female, boy, and, 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 and niggas be judging niggas like it ain't nothing. The whole nation be judging. You hear me? Why the fuck yeah. he come out the house like that? You know, they, they <laughs> judge, man. Even Esau got judged. We got a whole club of judges, man. Yeah. 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 He's only judging, man. He's got a whole book of judges. This is, um, so Rock, 19, and... And uh, oh. um, 18. 18, it says, the fear of the Lord is the first step to to be accepted of him. Ooh, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. What is fear? <laughs> you see? Right. It, it, but, hey, and to, what, uh, what I say, wisdom start off with fear, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and fear will come about what? Keeping his laws, man. You see? That's the beginning of knowledge, man. You're going to do what's pleasing to him. Just like you're going to do what's pleasing to your mom. You're going to do what's pleasing to the boy that you fear. Just like a, you fear the dude. Just like when you fear, you, you fear that nigga, that bully in school. You're going to do what's pleasing to him. Right. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You're going to try to stay out his way. You know, you're going to try to do everything. Come on, man. Same thing we got about Chanel Shop, man. Don't, make, don't get it misconstrued because we out here on earth. No, man. Same thing applying to heaven, but even worse, man. Stop playing with the Lord, man. It says, um, so Rock 19 and 18, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. So you got to accept, you got to be accepted of the Lord. So that's what you got to do. You got to keep his law, thanks to the to adjust your ability. If you're gonna be a part of me, this is what you gotta do. Order to join this club, what they do in sorority? Order to join the sorority, what they do? They do what the fuck they tell them to do. Instruction. Instruction. Cause this is all it is. This is instruction to what? Life. The knowledge, oh, like um, so rock 19 and 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of Him, and wisdom obtained of His love. Wisdom obtained His love. That's, that's wisdom. You fear the Lord. That's the first step. Love, love, they say, was the first step uh -huh. to come back unto Him, to be accepted. They said, fear is the first step to be accepted of Him. Right? But the Lord wants to fear first. And with that, love comes. Uh, uh, verse 19, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Yeah, right, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, can you mean 24? Uh, drop it down to verse 24. It says, he that has small understanding and fears the most high, is better than one that have much wisdom and transgresses the law of the most high. Why ain't giant? I said that one is uh, 
This is Jeremiah 23 and 5. Behold, the days come, said Yahweh, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called Yahweh our righteous. That's the Lord our righteous, man. Yeah, right, man. That's all we got to do. He said the Lord is man. Just obey. We're in a time now the Lord has actually rained the spirit down upon us, man. Through, through the apostles, the elders on down to us, man. The spirit is here. No, take heed. That's why I always say take heed. Mm. Take heed, man. This is this is the time, this is the season of us being delivered, man. <laughs> this, this spirit resonates with your spirit. Hey, you need to do something about it. Don't just sit back and just continue to watch this. No, you might remember make your body a sacrifice, man. This is the time because our salvation is greater than we believe. You don't want to be like them, them motherfuckers in the time of Noah. When he was telling them all the years that it's gonna rain, this is gonna happen, that's gonna happen. Yep. So, like, what the hell, Jermaine? It never rain. Only thing we got water to do from in the morning. But then here it is, when they start raining, they wanna go start beating on the ark. <laughs> you don't wanna be a part of that number. That's why I say that in um, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. They despise it, but they gonna know it after death, what? By pain. You don't wanna be that guy if the Lord got the spirit on you to hear this word and to, to link towards this word. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that woman. You see that? So repent because the word the kingdom of heaven is at hand and now salvation is that you believe it, man. It's here. If not, you wouldn't be out here right now. Christianity should still be taking a toll upon the whole earth. Christianity ain't got a toll upon the whole earth right now. You got the toll and God about to try shine through the spirit of the prophets. You know? So with that, man, I'm your brothers and sisters. We're edified. Once again, we give all honor and all glory and power to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, Hashem, Rakakadash. We'll say double honor to our elders, our great apostles, great men, strong to rule well and teach well, being great as up to Israel, but man of the elect, and peace and blessings to the hope they elect on the fourth corner, pushing the truth and sincerely, their great song. Next time, Shalom. Shalom. Baba Baal. Baba Baal. 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 The Rock Call Akiyam. DTA. Get up. How's the 